Live from the Bob Levy Broadcast Center, overlooking the Tom's River, it's time to get up, get out, do something. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Be a part of the show, 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin, 710. Friday, December 16th, 16 degrees. Get up to 29 today. WOBM, 1116, 13, News Talk Radio. Stream live on the radio. Pop up at WOBM.com, 732-505-1116 to join the conversation. We are joined in the studio by Patty Canetta and Jeremy Duza from the Ocean County Vocational Technical Schools. Good morning, Jeremy. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fantastic. Jeremy, I feel like I see you at every event now. Like, you're always working it, though, for the Votech. Yeah, well, yeah. that's, uh, that's you know, what you do, right? We play. We, you know, I go and play and yeah. sometimes get paid. That's but not sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I know you work for the county. It's tough. Uh, <laughs> so why don't you give folks kind of an overview of what it is you do for for the Votech? Uh, sure. Um, so I am, uh, for m- what most people would understand, a graphic design teacher. Um, we um, My program is called Design and Visual Communications. Um, so if anybody is looking uh, eventually to enroll, that's what they'd be looking at. But um my, uh, so our program consists of a photography component, a uh, printing component, and what my classes are is multimedia. So we try to teach students, uh, 11th and 12th graders, uh, over two years how to become um, a graphic designer and be prepared to get an entry-level position working maybe for a print shop or a marketing company or build a really good portfolio to get into a design school. Very cool, very cool. And so, how did you get into that? I mean, when you were when you were just a, a wee lad, were you <laughs> thinking one day this is what I want to do, or what would happen? Never. I mean, I even tell my students that you know I I know what they feel like, and you know can't wait to get out of school. And I never would have imagined I would have been in school for the rest of my life. But um, that's just kind of how the how the the cards got dealt. And um, you know, I went to college and thought I was going to be a mechanical engineer, and kind of figured that the math was not really as much fun as I thought, right. um, and then kind of ventured it through architecture and was really interested in that. I always wanted to be creative and kind of technical in what I did for for a career. Um, so um, things didn't quite go, go the way I wanted to. I ended up uh, going into uh, the art school, um, which was uh, kind of frustrating for my parents, uh, <laughs> saying, what are you going to do with an art degree? Right. Um, so to their surprise, I got out of college, and I, I got a job with a publishing company, um, in New York. And then, um, over time, uh, working through, you know, going through working in Manhattan, which is, can be glamorous for a lot of kids and stuff. And there's a lot of jobs there, but for me, uh, wasn't kind of the thing I ventured back and worked for some print shops and then just, you know, looking for life solidity and security, kind of one of my friends said, why don't you consider teaching? Yeah. Um, and I say, really, I don't know about that, but he's, I said, I can I even do that. But so myself, like a couple, most of the teachers of the vocational school went through what's called the alternate route to teaching, in which you take your life experience as long as you have a, a bachelor's degree, um, and then you are you basically test, and then you're eligible to to go and look for jobs. So um, best decision I ever made. Um, I taught at a traditional high school for about four years uh, in Monmouth County, and then was lucky enough to find the position at the vocational school in Brick. Uh, because I live in Brick as well, so I cut down my commute, and and now I go and kind of play with all these amazing resources that um, are funded by the uh, Perkins grants, um, and we get some. I just uh, was able to get a six thousand dollar three D printer a couple wow. of days ago. That's awesome. Um, yeah, and so you know I love going to to work every day and and teaching kids how to you know be creative, be technical, and have some products to show for what they do. Uh, currently, right now, they're working on making um, holiday ornaments um, using um, some design software, and then they're outputting them using a laser etcher and engraver. Again, that's that was another thirty thousand uh, dollar grant acquisition that we were able to purchase. Wow! And um, you know, so the kids see how they can take their art, and instead of just printing it out on a piece of paper, now they can turn it into a product um, and use this technology to maybe you know personalize their cell phone or make a you know, a custom frame or something like that. You, they bring in their own products. I, I say, go to the dollar store, buy drinking glasses and bring them in. And, right. and now they don't have to go out and spend a ton of money on the holidays. Absolutely. They uh, reuse your resources how, there. How much are drinking glasses at the dollar store, by the way? Uh, I believe they're a dollar. Oh, okay. Just curious. <laughs> <laughs> That's why 
That's that's the dumb joke I always use at the dollar store when I walk up. I'm like, how, how much, much is this? Yeah. How much is this? I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only moron that does yeah. that, but it makes me happy for me. Yeah, about, they're probably like, oh, yeah, my here God. Here comes that joke again. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Never heard that one. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, so, so I mean, it's great. you know, and, and, and you're really a perfect example just through that story of what the uh, vocational schools are all about. It's really that there's not a linear route for anyone mm. when it comes to education or when it comes to getting a degree and – um, you know, a lot of the kids that you work with, they may not even necessarily need to go and, and you know, and, and, and accumulate $100,000 of debt uh, before they can go out into the workforce and start earning their keep. They, they may go right from what you're doing to, to a meaningful job, right? Absolutely. Uh, we, you know, have a lot of relationships with um, businesses in, in this, you know, local communities that are looking for students to either work on small projects or get involved in internships. Um, so those are certainly opportunities. And I tell them also, with all the resources on the internet now, I mean, if you're motivated enough, you can learn all the software that you're going to learn in a college um, and be qualified to to go and, and get a job. And, you know, you may not have the connections that you may get through an internship in a college, but, you know, if they want it bad enough, you know, and that's what we're there, we're there for also, we have the connections. So um, we've gotten students into, you know, entry-level positions, and, and then, you know, the, the sky's the limit from there if they really apply themselves. Very cool, very cool. So when we come back, uh, I want to talk about uh, some of the other programs at the vocational schools that people should know about. Uh, and then we also want to give you your magic wand <laughs> because we want to see what you're going to do to change the world because you're already changing the world, you know, in your own way. Oh, one yeah. one young mind at a time. Mm. But now you can just do it with one fell swoop. It's a lot easier. Awesome. Right? Wake up with Jeremy Grada. Jeremy Duza. We got a, a whole Jeremy experience happening here this morning. Uh, more after this. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin wherever you go. Download the Radio Pup app for your smartphone or tablet. News Talk Radio WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin, 720 in the AM. Uh, we're here with Jeremy Duza talking Ocean County Vocational Technical School. So what do we have coming up at the at the Votech that, that our listening audience needs to know about? Well, there's so many. There's always something going on. I mean, uh, all of our programs offer services to the community where we really charge nothing for labor. Um, so if, uh, you know, our classes range from construction, culinary, um, cosmetology, uh, to name a few. So if you are, were you only naming the ones that start with the cut sound? Is that it? Only, uh, only yeah. C's? No, I'm kind of on the. You side. couldn't get past the C's. Huh? <laughs> yeah. um, but automotive, right? To, there you to go. Nice job. Three. There Good. we go. There's Good. another one. So um, if uh, you know anybody has the, some time to use that, that's our big thing. Is that our projects may take a little bit longer than you know going to uh, your your businesses because our students are learning. But um, generally, you know, like with my classes, uh, there's no charge for filming a video or making a website. Um, so all those things are done just for so the students can get learning. Um, you know, one of the construction classes was just telling me that they built a kiosk for the uh, Jackson Pathfinders. So um, all they did was supply the, the materials and they built it and installed it. So uh, some really great things that we try to get the students involved in and then, you know, so, some community service with that also. But uh, some specific events coming on, coming about. Uh, January 19th is a uh, fund uh, fundraiser dinner for the culinary uh, department uh, at the Brick Center. Uh, it's going to benefit the Cook Around the World Culinary Seminar for the uh, the culinary arts students. And uh, again, that's the 19th. Um, there's two seatings at 4.30 and 6.15. So they wanted to make sure I got that in there. Yeah, it was good. Um, Nancy's going to be proud of you. Yeah. Uh, we uh, There's more. Um, Career Discovery Day, January 21st in Brick. That's uh, an open house. Cool. In which uh, programs from all seven of our centers, and I'm probably uh, maybe misnaming or not counting right there, but um, they all come and do a little demonstration for any um, potential candidates that were interested in learning more about what we do at our school. So, again, that's the 21st of January from 9 to 1. Um, there are special information sessions for 10-month accredited training programs, Thursday, February 2nd from 6 to 6.30, again at the Brick Center. All this information could be found on our website, ocvts.org. Um, the annual, this is a big event, uh, Chef's Night Out. Yes, my favorite. Yep. If you like to do a lot of sampling of all the uh, restaurants in the area, all the good ones, um, that's Monday, March 6th. Nice. So, um, so Jeremy, let me interject. Patty. <laughs> yes, sir. Are we going to be at Chef's Night Out this year? 
Uh, I believe so. Okay. I got a I got an email about. Well, I got an email about, so? well, email about no, that very listen, recently. There is no there is no try. There is only do or do not. You got to be in it that to win it. That is a do. It. You know what I'm saying? And that's the that's. Uh, do you know who said that? By the way, there is um, no try. There's only do or on do not. Was that on Spaceballs? Close. <laughs> it was actually the original Yoda. <laughs> See, he said there is no try. There is only do or do not. Uh, he probably said. Do or do not there is. Anyway, so anyway, go ahead. That's really go ahead. good. Go ahead, Jeremy. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No problem. Uh, so, yeah, that's our Chef's Night out. That's a really big event. I think that's getting bigger and bigger every year. Um, when is that? Jeremy? So that is Monday, March 6th. Tickets are $50 to attend, um, and you get to eat as much food and uh, drink there as you'd like. Yes. Um, so, um, and there are, uh, there, you know, there's they're voted on as far as the, a prize, and you can kind of brag about winning and being the best um, restaurant there. Yes. And um, then finally, uh, going later into the year, May 20th, is our uh, Foundation's annual car show, uh, which is getting bigger and bigger every year as well at the Brick Center, which is pretty cool. Wow. Um, Seems like everything's getting bigger and bigger at the Votech. Yeah, well, people are finding out about it. Um, it's been Termed as the best un or the best kept secret in Ocean County, so we're trying to let that secret. Yeah, let's out not. A let's bit. not. We don't. We don't, we don't want to be a best kept secret. We want people <laughs> right. to know about it. Right. Plus, we have a huge project that's going to be announced in the not too distant future at the uh, at Ocean County College uh, that may have something to do with the Performing Arts Academy. So that's uh, a little bit about that's that. going to be super exciting. Uh, but uh, but there you go, Jeremy. It's that time. All right. It's that time where we give you the magic wand, the pixie dust, the fairy dust, the ability just to wiggle your nose and make an impact on the world. We've never given Patty Canetta one of these magic wands. We may change that today. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's in the budget. Uh, Jeremy, what Amazing. are you doing? What are you doing with the wand? Um, I think uh, I thought about this long and hard, and you know, one thing um, I, I thought maybe if I could send the kids in a time machine and see, you know, how valuable these skills are. We we get so many kids that come back and they say, you know, we never really took advantage of the resources we had and the the tools and you know how you guys are trying to teach us to simulate what it would be like to be in a in a job situation so if they could kind of look forward and and then maybe come back and and kick themselves in the butt and say you know you kind of maybe slacked off and could have worked a little harder and, and been a little better prepared for that um that was i guess kind of my magic wand because uh, i think that would really help out a lot of them very nice very good you're absolutely right uh jeremy one last time where could folks learn more about the ocean county vocational technical schools uh, that would be ocvts.org, or they could uh, follow us on Twitter at, at OCVTS, and I am my, my programs at OCVTS Multimedia. So um, I'd like to just do a quick thanks to to Nancy Weber Lofert and Mr. Hoy for you know providing this opportunity and and uh, letting us uh, have all these great opportunities. Uh, and then just give a shout out to my mom, my dad, Bonnie, <laughs> William, and Bradley, who I think are listening and probably laughing at me right now. Look but. at you giving a shout out. <laughs> you went, you went down the shot. You know, I, we've never had somebody uh, like like uh, give the shout out like that. That well, was uh, that it'll was impressive. go a long way. So I, I had to make sure I got it. That in. was impressive. <laughs> Jeremy Duza, Ocean County Vocational and Technical Schools. Uh, thank you for uh, for the great work you're doing. Yet another example of something that's kind of outside of the box that uh, not everybody is thinking about when it comes to uh, vocational education. Uh, so there you go. Do we have a phone call, Zach? Oh, we'll take it after the break. Wake up with Jeremy Cronin. Thank you again, Jeremy. Thank you. Jeremy, 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 Jeremy. What's your vector, Victor? <laughs> anyway. Over, uh, under, uh, under, under, done. There you go. <laughs> Wake up with Jeremy Cronin. Back with more after this. The news is next, live from the WOBM Newsroom, the Town Square, New Jersey News Network, and Fox News Radio. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin, News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310.